Right, so it turns out we can't get the scissors anyway. No. So let's go and uh, track down that green butterfly. Back to area nine. Sector nine. All right. We went in there and found the map, and there's the dog waiting for us there. So I guess we just look around. Well, we probably go onwards, but we can look around. Livestock room. Well, well, I can hear livestock. There's a girl over there. Yeah. The unlucky girl met Eleanor, the princess as cold as ice. Inside the acrid room, the princess shot an icy glare and said, Yes, she is a pain. Well. That one had vice acting, yeah. With their beady eyes, the chickens inspect their tiny homes. Yes, I suppose if you were on a long haul flight, maybe just having the chickens that would lay the eggs would make sense. Yeah. The cages are small, leaving no room for the fowl to spread their wings. Even so, the birds waddle around busily. Looks very cruel though. Does she say anything else or is that it? Ellipsis. Mm, that is it. Mm. Oh, we're coming back for you. I know, it seems very cruel to just leave him there, but what can we do? Fort livestock room. The pig is busy eating. It reeks badly. Names are written on the cage. Mary and Sally. Jesus. Two little goats are shivering inside. Is that a hole? It does look like a hole. I take it you can't do Spend anything time. with it. No, I'm just mm. fascinated by the fact that there's a... Oh, there's a girl there as well. You're not actually supposed to be able to see her, that's because of the widescreen patch. Admittedly, <laughs> animal feed is scattered everywhere, rotting away. It seems like it hasn't been used in a long time. Empty cages are stacked up. A heavy stench of animals fills the air. The unlucky girl met Wendy, the lonely princess. The princess saw that the girl was confused, so she smiled gently and said, <coughs> You're the new girl, aren't you? <coughs> I'm Wendy. It's nice to meet you. <coughs> what? Not, she's a pain? Hmm. Appears to be <laughs> petting a pretty white rabbit. And doesn't at all have a suspicious cough. I think she's sick. No one wants to be alone. Are you looking for a butterfly? I saw one flying around on the first floor. Oh. Anything else? She feels unwell when she's lonely. Are you sad when you're alone? I am. You're the most human person I've spoken to so far. Right. Oh. <coughs> so of course you're fated to die of TB. <laughs> Are 
you looking for a butterfly? Yeah, and they were repeating I her saw thing. one flying around on the first floor. Yeah, now we're repeating, I think. I got an interesting look for saying that. Yes, I suppose we've had another clue to go upstairs, but we can continue exploring whichever way. Where does this lead to 10? Can we get to it? Mm. Sector 10 crew cabin. It reads electric panel. So it does. Little bunks. I suppose, yes, it would be quite a utilitarian. I wonder if no matter which side you're on, she's on, she's the, other on the other side. She's on the other side, yeah. Or is there someone sitting? New girl. <laughs> this is sort of implying that you're the crew of this airship you suddenly appeared on. Hmm. Because I don't know whether to imagine it would be cold or warm. The unlucky girl met Diana. The strong-willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. And thus Jennifer was made to feel about as welcome as a fart in a spacesuit. <laughs> I take it to say the same thing, or do we just get ellipses again? What? No. Oh. She really annoys me. What? <sighs> Just terrible. What Who are you talking to? Me. She's just being mean to me in a kind of side way. I guess. Oh. That's supposed to happen. I think it's just Can't sort of the incidental it. environmental stuff, which is quite nice. Yes, I don't know whether to imagine it would be very cold or very warm, because it's like, the engines are going, that's the way we came from. Oh, is it? Yeah, because that's oh, the so panel. Or if it's like cold because you're essentially floating in the air in a balloon. Altitude, yeah. Yeah. 211, this is the way the, the other girl we haven't met went. Seems upset. Oh, hello. The unlucky girl met Xavier, the gluttonous prince. As the prince chewed with his mouth full, he spoke to her. Witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? That witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do. Or else spooky things will come and do it. Could it be because it's cracked? Oh. For a moment, the reflection in the mirror looked like the old orphanage. Yeah, it doesn't look like what you're looking at. Bizarre. I'm telling you, we're in trouble now. Oh, sorry, that was the game. This is me. You're especially dirty, so the spooky things are sure to come and clean you up. I see. <laughs> Even Mr. Hoffman said you have to clean up or else get cleaned up. Anything else? Did you hear the news? Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, okay. That was odd. It's the ladies. Which is a much smaller toilet. Must be because of the crack in the mirror. It's the same, I take it. Oh, oh. no. What it was it? But, but you see the illusion of a strange man in the reflection. We do not. The game tells us we do, but we do not. Incessant crying coming from. Hello. The unlucky girl met Martha, the queen of cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. She seemed nice. Does it say anything else? No, she just gives us a look. And I was also blocking the way to 12, can I just, clearly, yeah. Can I just get right? Do you, do you mind if I just... Can I just get right? If, I, if you just move just a little... I just need... Smoking room. Hello. The unlucky girl met Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who'd been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl! A new girl! Oh, uh, 25th of April 1929. The world's largest airship to take flight. Okay. In anticipation of the coming era of airship travel. Am I supposed to read that as and <laughs> it's just why is it only on the left? In anticipation know. of the coming era of airship travel, Britain announced the completion of the world's largest airship. In its long awaited first flight, it will lift off at Cardington and fly to India by way of London. All of Britain eagerly awaits the inaugural ceremony. the inaugural ceremony. Along with the mayor and the countess, children from the local orphanage will participate in the ribbon cutting ceremony. Hmm. That was the year prior to because it said it was 1930. Woo -woo. <laughs> What's she like? Can yeah. I just get by? I was wondering well? yeah, if you could get past him and look what's on the table. Or... I think the, the newspaper I was not the guest, yeah. Mm. I'm assuming that way is to 12 and that way is to explore this, this side. Maybe. Only this wall seems to be made of cloth. Take it that's for when we have scissors. Oh, maybe. Yeah, so we're back in the crew cabin. So I suppose there's two things to try. There's go upstairs or there's um, continue along this way. Yeah, to 12 or up. I mean, I'm assuming up is the butterfly. So if you want to do everything before the correct thing, go to 12. It is what Wendy the Lonely Princess told us, yes. Yeah. Oh, 
that solves the issue for us. Really disappointed in this room, it's not even on fire. <laughs> It says something on the wall, which is Clover something, I can't quite make it out. It says... Cloverfield. Oh, strange movie. Okay. The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. Hmm. A green butterfly is on the ground. Take the butterfly? Yes. <gasps> you deserve to be gobbled up. Jesus, all right, Olivia. It's a fork with sharp prongs. Mm -hmm. About equipping items. Some items can be equipped as weapons. Just check to see if the equip option is available when you select an item on the menu screen. Jennifer found dessert fork. It's a dead green butterfly. Its wings are tattered and mostly fallen off. Jennifer found green butterfly. So, let's uh, do as the game suggested. We could also look at it, but I think it'll just be what we've already seen. Probably. No, actually it is slightly different. Desert fork. Uh, it's dessert fork, sorry. It's not a desert fork. It's a different <laughs> thing. That's what you used to call them, the desert. Um, a delicate fork with sharper prongs than a normal fork. And it is, in fact, our first weapon. Yeah, I think we're trying to look at that too. A beautiful but tattered green butterfly. Yeah, yeah you know what? Fuck you! <laughs> it looks so pathetic. We can't even look while we use it. But yes, this is a new area we can look around. Jennifer found a copper leaf. It's shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? Hmm. Spoilers, yes. Then we have a selection of doors here. All the things drawn on the one leaf clover. The V has become an L. Locked, of course. All leaf clover. Locked, of course. And then a three leaf. That says more on the door, though. Mm hmm. It's also locked. Can we read that then? The, the way to the clover. Something. Mostly illegible, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. And I presume in the other direction there'll be a two door. That would make sense. Yes, two leaf clover. Locked, of course. Now that I've got this, I really want to just stick it in someone. So to speak. So what now, I guess? We've got the green butterfly. Oh, right, yes. So we go back. Got a green butterfly. 
she doesn't care. No, that's a toilet, Peter. You have mentioned that the controls are actually a little awkward. Can we blame the controls for me going the wrong... Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, I was uh, holding the stick trying to go through the end door, which is the right one, but um, it ch changed. I thought that's what had happened, admittedly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Because we need to keep going all the way through to the other side here too, I think. Well, you've got a map, to be fair. Damn, what do you think of my fork? What? Fork. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Here's where the dog was. Soon to be freed. Just thinking that's not the way, is it? It's, it's not, no. Well, I don't think it matters which one I came come. No, it does, because one of them was locked, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to, yeah, continue further if we're trying to get to the, um... Red crayon thingy. There's a noise. Yeah, I can hear almost crying. Not from in here. How oh, can we look through the eye hole again? They're still there. I'm going to try all these doors simply because of the, what the I can crying, hear. Yeah. Oh, in fact, there she is. Battle! Sometimes enemies will jump out and impede Jennifer's progress. Attack! Hold down the R1 button to ready for combat and press the X button to attack. You will inflict, inflict greater damage if you have a weapon equipped. Damage getting hit or grabbed by enemies will deplete your health. To shake them off, ooh, ooh, ooh. quickly move the left analog stick back and forth. If you keep taking damage, you'll slow down and eventually collapse and the game will end. So remember to replenish your health by using recovery items after taking damage. Tutorial available later. Mm. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Creepy little I'm thinking, can thing. we just leave and to this way oh, if you want stamp to? As well. <laughs> we seem pathetic. Is that it? Yes. Yes, yes the uh, combat system is um, <laughs> hot garbage, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> We seem fine still. Yeah. yeah, he's like a little not real person. I think it's... Oh, you said you were going to look around him all. So. No, no, only for the crying. Oh, okay. It should be so that the other way, way then. So you're essentially re-following the signs. Yeah. That should be up the stairs. Oh.
found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two-leaf clover, but it slept, but it slept into the shed shadows. Shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky Reading about as well as I do. Mm -hmm. Not really, though. She found a one leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two leaf clover, but it but it slept into the shed shadows. Shadows. She found a three leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a still won't let us in. Nope. Clover, but she was too unlucky. Once upon a time, there was a. So let's, uh. We do it from here. Make, Make an, an offering. offering. A green butterfly. <laughs> the gift box store said to the unlucky girl. You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and then you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. <laughs> we look like we got something there, though. Like, what happened? I think they just gave us it oh, back. Oh, I see. But those girls also ran away dropping something on the floor. And I see we can also go into the library, maybe. Jennifer found one leaf key. Ah, a one leaf clover adorns one end of it. So they're not in here anymore. The library. They've trashed the place. Or the place has become trashed. I suppose, yeah. Or the place is revealing its true form. Can we not see what they were reading? As long as you're trying to stop staying, uh, stay still and then hitch sometimes. Do you think that helps? Did seem to with the map, admittedly. It might just be the look of the angle, unfortunately. Catch your breath, come on. Oh, too late. Unfortunately, I, I, I hate to think she always looks like she needs to pee. Mm, maybe she does. Mm. But yes, we, we've got a way forward. We know where the one, one clover door is. Mm-hmm. All the way back, all the way the other way. Ah, 